What's up guys, it's Marty Blends and today we're going to be helping you guys choose out the right hairstyling product for your hair. So whether you have thick to thin hair, you might be using the wrong one. Stick around and we're going to go over a bunch. So the first hair product I have in hand is pomade. For the most part, this comes in two different solutions, oil-based and water-based. The oil-based is usually made out of petroleum or prolactin. With that being said, the oil-based pomades are mainly for that sleek style that greasers would wear back then. These are also very good to move around, so in case there's a hair strand falling out of place, you could just slick it right back inside with no problem. The only downside of these oil-based pomades is that they will take forever to come off, like multiple showers. When it comes to the water base, they're so much easier to wash off, but they won't have the same exact hold that the oil base does. Guys, but don't get me wrong, these are very good alternatives to the oil based pomades. So the next subject I wanna go over is literally the most popular and I know is sitting around your house right now and that is gel. In this case, it is elegance gel, but we'll be talking about gel in general. If you think more of like the early 90s where you had uh, spikes and mohawks, this was definitely the product to go with. There is a downside to having gels and that is having them flake on you. I'm talking about having them look like dandruff and stuff like that. Like you don't really want that throughout the day. You don't want to scratch through your hair. So if you want that actually touches your hair a lot, don't go for gel. That's like that one thing. Just ignore gel. Take these out of the lineup. Guys, and if you do show signs of like thinning or generally have thick hair naturally, you should definitely not go with these. Problem is they do leave like clumps of hair, so your scalp is very visible and I would definitely stay away from gels completely. Like, no, no. The next category on this list is cream. This is probably the product with the least hold, but it's for the simple fact that it's more for a natural look. So one thing to note about these creams is that they are made naturally from amino acids and olive oil, which will help you defrizz, kind of defrizz your hair when applied. More often than not, these are pre-stylers and can be combined with any other product in this video, especially the ones that I'm gonna show you after these. This one in specific is the American Crew that you have seen at Walmart for sure. And then this one smells really good. It's actually like El Patron cannabis one. And then my favorite, Street Cream. This is definitely a pre-style for me on the sides, flooding that out and then have a crop. Definitely super good. I would suggest you guys get these as pre-stylers. So the next product we have is literally known for a bunch of things like clay, putty, wax, and paste. And that is the reason I have like, Four of them, four different types, but we'll be talking about why they're so good and they're personally one of my faves. The reason they are my personal favorites is that they are used for the messy type looks. So the reason I love the messy look is because you can restyle with no problem throughout the day without even taking a look at the mirror and you're set to go. There's no like, oh, there's one little hair dangling around, nothing like that. These are intentionally for messy hair. That is the reason I like it a lot, man. Another reason why I love these is because they are literally meant for anyone with thick to thin hair, so it doesn't really matter. They're extremely versatile. So the first product that I have here is Statement, and I literally got this at Armstrong McCall, at my nearest Armstrong, because it was so freaking sleek looking, and then I find out that it's made by three creators, and one of them is Stay Gold. She is literally my favorite. She cuts up James Charles, such a beast, and you see all her fades are freaking flawless. Anyways, um, I like this one because it's literally a paste, but it's shiny. It's a shiny paste. It's maybe like a pomade, but as in like a paste. So very good. It smells freaking crazy, man. And it's like a really smushy soluble. Nice packaging too. It's, look at that. Wow. Okay. That's that. That's the reason I got that paste. All right. Now we have Cremo. Cremo I got because it's uh, one that you could, out of all these four, you could definitely see this one at your nearest Walmart or maybe CVS, I believe. Walmart for sure. I'll link it at the very bottom of this, but yeah, this is one that I used to use when I wasn't even a barber yet. So I used to use this when I'd get my fresh fade and stuff. 
I'd use this. This one is a matte finish. It's a high hold, but a matte finish, low shine. So, um, okay, now we have matte clay. This is the uppercut. Um, there was this one time where I did, did I, I did try this one. This one's hella hard, actually. Like, if you try to grab it. Clays are usually hard, but this one in specific is crazy hard. But once you put it in there, it's really, really hard to get out. And it works wonders, man. That one's really good. Whew. Damn. Sligerla Clay Pomade. The, I think the only reason they put pomade on this is because it is a little bit glossier. But, man. the fir I think, no, 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 not the glossy. The firm hold is a thing, probably. But uh, the thing about this one is that it is kind of hard, too. Look, I've already used it once, but it is kind of hard. Like the other one. Not as hard as the uppercut. But, as the uppercut right here. But it is pretty hard. And this one, this one sets in and does not come off. I've tried it so many times, I ran through like a couple bottles of these and personally my, and it's the smallest one out of the whole lineup right here. Smallest one. I love that little gorilla, it looks so sick. Speaking of slick gorilla, wait till you see what I have next. Let's go. So we've reached the final category and this is the one I use every single day as a casual product and that is volumizing powder. In this case, Slick Gorilla. So the way this works is by sprinkling a little bit on top of your hair and then messing it all up. This will make the chemicals react and then give you that really messy type look that you're going for. The thing is that this does secrete your hair oils and all the moisture in it, so it leaves it super dry and you kind of get that texturized look. So the reason I use this is because I personally have a crop top and if you have a crop, a fringe, or a comb over, any type of hair that you want, like some volume on, this is definitely the one to go with. The reason I use this so much is because it's so easy to apply, and at the end of the day, it's easy to take off with some conditioner in the shower, and you're done. Um, one thing to note is that this is, I mean, it's not, I wanna say it's as expensive as other pomades and stuff like that. They're, really, they're usually in like the, 15 to 30 dollar price range within all the products honestly but now we will go off to something that you could top off every one of these products with so we went from volumizing powders to pomades to gel etc but everything needs its little cherry on top which is why i chose hairspray to be in the final category not really a category it's just like a little top like a little topping the thing is Hairsprays are a huge must in order not to get like that frizz and stuff like that. Definitely look towards a volumizing hairspray or a stronghold. Both of these are really effective. This is a got to be that I use on the daily. On this one, if someone needs a little bit of puff or a little, little bit of volume, I definitely use this one. I believe this one is like five times as expensive as the uh, got to be. So. Yeah, be aware of that. The pricing is a little bit more expensive on this, but I promise you these are very, very, very good sprays. Guys, if you did get to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned. Keep in mind that every product we did mention will be linked in the description. If you do have any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below. If you did like the video or learned anything from it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. That's it for us, peace. Hey, what's up? Are you at your house? Yeah, por qué? Wait, can you get off first? I just got out of uh... Down no, yeah, just let me know when you're outside. Alright. Okay, look, alright, late. I was gonna say love you with this. Mirando, no. Oigan, si ustedes quieren un tutorial en, en español, díganme allá abajo. I don't know, if you guys know some Spanish, or if you want me to do any Spanish tutorials, let me know. Let me know. That's it for us, baby!